not hesitating at all, as you can see. Um, it's on the other side of the bridge now. She did two other two times on one side, and now we're trying the other side. But she's got a system down. She pulls it, puts it in her mouth, pulls it, puts it in her mouth until she gets what she wants. And it just takes her seconds to figure it out. Okay, half a mouth. Good girl. Oh, she's winding it around her trunk. I've never seen that done before. Now she's got it all the way around her trunk. She's unwinding it from her trunk and she's holding it with her foot. And she's going to pull it the rest of the way. At first sight, this coordinated rope pulling action seems to involve insight. The elephants, it appears, figure out in their heads that they can only obtain treats by a coordinated, flexible, and versatile action of trunk and foot trunk and mouth, trunk, mouth, and foot. They sometimes even wrap the rope around their trunk. However, the following footage raises the possibility that they do not rely on insight in solving this task, but on prior experiences or trial and error learning. Note as well how reluctant all of us are to entertain the notion that the elephant does not understand what's going on. her trunk over the third cable. What about the second cable? Uh, do you understand, Mati? Did you hear that? She will not put her trunk over the third or second cable unless she's being defiant. It's not, it's not common practice for her. some understanding of the elephant's sense of smell. In one investigation we found out that an elephant can tell which end of a two three meter long or ten foot tube contains a bagel and which doesn't. By the second session Winky chose the right tube in nine out of ten trials and Wanda in twenty out of twenty. Moreover in Wanda's case at least we could be sure she only tightened her trunk around the tube when the bagel piece was at the far end of the tube, three meters away. Okay, okay she sucks in the right place and you can keep doing it just a couple more times. Yeah. In a second set of experiments, we trained a blind elephant to come to Moti for treats from a variety of distances and from different wind directions. When she was 40 meters or some 130 feet downwind from Moti, she was able to find him in 60% of the trials. 
suggesting again the elephant's reputation as a super sniffer is well deserved. Okay, this is Shui Mia. It's um, February 17th. And she is totally blind in both eyes. Con she was born that way. And uh, Moati was about 40 meters away from her. And the wind was with her to help her. The which she headed in a westerly direction. And no, so it's in the west. Easterly, I'm sorry. Easterly direction to get food from Moti. And she got it. She found him without a whole lot of trouble. I can't talk during this because when I do talk, she comes to me. Okay, that was about two meters away and Moti was at a right angle to the wind direction. This is number two today or three. Thank you. 